There's one week left for the fall 40 Days for Life campaign. Springfield Bishop William Byrne attended the vigil recently with young people from the diocese. Carolee McGrath has more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Bishop William Byrne led the rosary outside of Planned Parenthood in Springfield as part of the fall 40 Days for Life campaign. The pro-life campaign, which runs through November 5th, is an ecumenical effort which relies on peaceful, prayerful witness in front of the Western Massachusetts Health Center of Springfield. We have to stand up for life at all its stages. You know, we our, our pro-life activities here are helping moms have an authentic choice and also to protect the life of the unborn. But then once they are born to walk with moms all along the way to make sure that they have the resources and the things they need. The bishop was joined by students from St. Mary's High School in Westfield. Katie Corvo, a junior at St. Mary's, recently spoke at the Celebrate Life Holy Hour that was held at Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament Parish in Westfield. It's important to stand up for those who can't stand up for themselves. It's important to stand up for those who can't say, hey, I need help, right? So no matter what, it's our duty to save those who can't save themselves, and it's our duty to give them the Christian love that they deserve. We had the Holy Hour, the Celebrate Life Holy Hour, which was youth focused, and this event. Because the youth, you know, as in everything, they are the future and the present, and we need them to embrace, continue to embrace the cause of life, and uh, to really root it in their hearts so that uh, it'll, it'll be sustained in them for years to come. St. Mary's High School students also attend the National March for Life each year in Washington, D.C. I came because uh, St. Mary's is a really great school and they're going towards a good cause, which is praying for life. And I try to get out here at least a couple times a year to support the cause and, and uh, really be present with the community. According to the national campaign, close to 24,000 babies have been saved from abortion since the launch of the international campaign in 2007. Locally, organizers report that they know of at least 26 babies who have been saved. Several churches have taken part this fall, including St. John the Evangelist Parish in Aguam and Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament in Westfield. To learn more, go to 40daysforlife.com. In Springfield, I'm Carolee McGrath.